What's going on YouTube? Dapper Dan here. A very beautiful day here in Colorado. It's actually a little too warm for this this jacket, but uh, it's okay. I'm gonna have a decently long drive right now, so that's the reason why I have the jacket on. And of course, it's windy again. I don't know why it's so windy lately. Anyway guys, you will see why I have this jacket on here in a second because one because I'm going on the highway and two Because this is my last ride on my 2021 zero FXS right now. I'm uh, Heading down to a dealership to trade it in on a different bike and the, the jacket that I have matches the color of the bike that I'm getting so I figured since I'm making a long drive and since it matches, I'll figure it out where it's. It's a little hot, but it's not bad. It's like 75 degrees right now. <laughs> and hopefully I have enough range to get there. I should. So the, 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 uh, I'm recording this right now. It's the very beginning of May and it's probably not going to come out till like middle of june or something i have a bunch of videos that need to come out before this which of course you guys have already seen so anyway guys uh you guys it's a bittersweet day you guys know this is my favorite bike that i have but the bike that i'm trading it on i think in my opinion is a much better bike and yeah it's gonna be so nice it actually came in way faster than I thought. I ordered it like two weeks ago and it's already in. It came in so fast, but I'm excited. It's gonna be so nice. And hopefully I have enough range to get there. It's only like a 20 something mile drive, 25 I think. And I got 87 miles of range, but that's thinking that I would be all in the city, which I do have a little bit of a highway drive to do. It is so nice out today, everybody is riding. And I did order one mod with the new bike. Hopefully they they got that right. It's the one, the one mod that I got with the new bike, so we'll see. I am so excited though, we're about to hit the highway portion. If they would have totaled this bike instead of fixing it, this bike that I'm going to get is the bike I would have gotten anyway. So uh, we will see how it goes. I can tell I'm already sweating. <laughs> it's all good though. Oh wow. They closed both gas stations here. Interesting. That one was way cheaper and this one was way expensive. But now neither of them are here. Interesting. Nice. Dual sport or super moto, I couldn't tell. All right, you guys, um, I'm doing it, about to be doing highway speed, so I am going to shut up for a little bit until I'm back in the city so you can hear me better. All right, hopefully it's a tailwind now. <laughs> Doesn't sound very loud, that's for sure. Oh, that's cool. Maybe like a dirt bike track over there. All right. I guess we got nine miles till I'm supposed to be, till I'm in the city that I'm supposed to be in. We should make it. Probably should have charged this last night, but it's all good. We should have enough battery to make it. We're at 55%. All right. We are off the highway now, so we can stop being so stingy with, with the battery. And we are at 48%. Let's see what gas is down here. 335. Not bad, I guess. I don't know. I haven't bought gas in weeks because I've been riding this. Oh yeah, we should have plenty of range to get there. I probably got 10 more miles to do and 48%. So yeah, you guys, uh, this is my last ride. Kind of bittersweet. But I think I'm gonna like this new bike whole lot better so pros and cons of this bike uh, that I've experienced with my two years of ownership uh, the cons I learned my lesson do not get the dual battery set up you want the single large battery set up not the dual smalls because only twice I took out that second battery 
just to just to try stuff out. So not worth it. The the 99.999% uh, the of the time I rode with both batteries in. And the reason for that, I guess the, the dual batteries are for whatever reason they're they don't charge right and that one went out. But it was replaced under warranty, so it is all good. And one thing I don't like about it is the headlights on anything but sport bikes. Harley, Supermotos, Dual Sports, stuff like that. I prefer to have just one single headlight rather than two. And everything else though is great. It's a great seat height. Uh, this, this commuter screen was great when I uh, was commuting a long distance on this bike every day. But now that I have a short commute, I don't need it anymore. Hand guards I would still get either way. This has been an excellent bike for the two years that I've owned it. Well, a year and a half, I should say. Would I recommend this bike to somebody? Yes, definitely. Except for one, make one change and get that, get the single, I don't even know if they sell it anymore, the single big battery, the 7.2. Don't get the, the two small batteries. That's the only thing I would have done differently. Well, let's see, since I have plenty of range left, let's go ahead and switch it into sport mode. Hey, it's my old car, kind of. I used to have one just like that. Except for not smashed up and it was silver instead of yellow. Hey, a C8 and I don't know what kind of motorcycle that was, but that was cool. Some choppers, nice. <laughs> those have got to be so uncomfortable to ride. I don't think I would ever ride one of those. All right, we are actually early. I said I would be there at 2. And it's 1.45 right now. So we might get there right around 2. And mine did not have that tiny tow hitch. It's like a 1 inch receiver on there. That thing is tiny. What could you even tow with that? You could put a bicycle on there. But that's about it. Everybody loves this bike too. Just yesterday I had to go to a different location at my work and this bike it was one of those automated gates where you're supposed to be heavy enough to for it to open automatically for you when you're leaving and this bike apparently is not heavy enough to do it so I had to go up top and uh, have them let me out but <laughs> I was stuck up there for a few minutes they were talking to me about the bike everybody I've ran into they always always have questions about this bike but I, I am kind of slightly convinced it's a little bit bad luck because the very first time I took it out I slipped on some gravel, low slided and then the battery issue, it was gone for months for that and then of course the accident it was gone for a very long time for that so out of the year and a half I've had it I've probably actually only had it in my possession for less than a year I would say golly it's probably been I've only had it in my possession probably seven months out of the year and a half that I've owned it so I'm not not sad for it to go because of that that's the one one reason I'm not sad for it to go but I do love this bike this is my most ridden bike all right we are getting close to our destination you guys hopefully you enjoyed my last ride on this bike. Uh, there's a very likely chance in a few minutes it's going to be gone. This is the first of the two bikes that I am upgrading this year. So leave your guesses down in the comments what bike you think I'm going to get. I'm interested to see what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Leave your guesses down in the comments what bike you think I'm going to get. Because uh, it is coming up very soon. You guys will see it very soon. Now look at that view. There's still snow on the mountains. <laughs> if you guys really enjoyed today's video, make sure you share it with a friend. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Later.